Rugby union is a highly physical, immensely technical sport with the scrum or scrummage epitomizing this. As Los Pumas finish their grueling World Cup training camp, we get the lowdown on the specialist technique required for scrummaging. It's important in the psychological dominance, in the psychological edge, the first actual physical interaction with your opposition. It's a weapon we use as a means of attack and also as a way of creating penalties. I think the scrum in this World Cup will be very important. It will be, in many games, the decisive factor towards that winning edge, towards the position. A scrum occurs when there is an infringement in the game. There is either a knock-on, uh, not straight, there's an option from the line-out. A scrum involves eight people in each side. I think all the members of a scrum play an integral part and each one is important. I wouldn't say that there is one role which is more important than another, but that the team, eight people together, is what makes the difference. The loose hit will have a shoulder away from the scrum. He will prop against the tie head. The hooker has to keep everything together and the, uh, the tie head is normally tight with both shoulders in the scrum and he will scrum against the loose hit and the hooker. I think the ideal body type for a hooker, in my opinion, is to have a large frame with shoulders that enable you to hold your position and also big legs for good traction. For us in particular, the hooker is the organiser of the scrum, the leader, the person who manages the timing. Without the tight head prop forward, it's very difficult to advance. He's really important in terms of the dynamic of the scrum. If the tight head prop is forward and well rooted, then the scrum can generally move forward. I think uh, normally a tight head is stronger uh, than a loose head. Loose head is more, I think, technical to be efficient, to try to be effective. Once the scrum is set up, you go into, into the mark, you bind with your hooker, then you start looking at different details of your game, how to be more efficient, and then you go into the referee's uh, calls, that would be crouch, you choose, you go down, bind, and then you set, and then the ball is played after the scrum is started. <laughs> The body position before you engage, you have to be trying to have a straight back and the perfect position will be to try to communicate the strength from your second row and your flank and your number eight towards your back. So the back is uh, hugely important and then your neck, you have to be looking straight, try to, to put on the pressure on the opposition. It's very important to learn the scrum formation and to have a solid scrum because there are many teams with better and better techniques or improved scrums with solid formations which are a source of penalties. So we place a lot of importance on it and I think this year in the World Cup the scrum is going to be an extremely important factor. High levels of analysis and attention to detail coupled with a stringent training regime are essential to a successful scrum. Practice normally every week to, for, to the scrum. We have either on a machine, a static machine, where you practice engagement, working together, uh, and then sometimes you do live scrum like in the game. We normally review the scrums by watching during the week, watching our scrums that fight in the last games, how we can get better, how the tiny details of each scrum, how can we get uh, to be more efficient. For us, for Argentina, the scrum formation is undoubtedly a determining factor as to how we perform. And I think that for all the teams, it's a weapon which has to be used effectively in order to be in possession of the ball and so as not to be dominated either physically or psychologically.